Hi, my name is Rich Linder. This is my 1928 Ford Roadster pickup without a bed. It's uh, kind of modeled after uh, lakes modified, what they would run on the dry lakes in California back in the early to late 40s. I got the car on the road this spring. Uh, I started out wanting to build a traditional car, flathead, Model A. I was at a, uh, an estate auction and picked up a, uh, a front axle and rear axle out of a 1940 Ford, and I also picked up a 49 Ford flathead that had been completely rebuilt. I got a, a really good deal on all that stuff, and kind of after that, I was kind of looking for a car for it to, to go into. I picked up a frame locally and uh, started working there, and also picked up this body in Atlanta, Georgia. The body was pretty rough, to say the least. I'd, I'd went down there, drove all the way down there, thinking it was going to be a little bit nicer, but after I drove four hours, I thought, well, I might as well just go ahead and take it back home. The first, first thing I had to do was make patch panels going all the way around the bottom of the body. Uh, the inner doors were patched, uh, the back of the cab, the quarters, everything was patched on the lower six inches. One of the biggest things on the body was there was a big uh, buckshot in the driver's door and I thought just that's going to be very hard to fix so I just decided to leave it there and at that point I had a new name for the car and that was buckshot. Some of the neat things I thought to put on the car was I had bought a what I thought was a Model A gas tank off of eBay for $5. Turned out it wasn't a Model A, and it was bigger than what I needed, and it said Fordson on it. Turned out it was an old Fordson tractor tank. I put it back on eBay and sold it for $500. It was really nice shape, so I put that back into the budget of the car. Turns out that with everything itemized down pretty much to the penny, I've got about $5,000 in the car, a little bit over that. But I'm going to be doing a little bit of dress-up work on the flathead, so I'm probably going to have about $6,000 in it when it's all said and done. It's, it's, a, it's a fun car that you can get out and go anywhere you want to go with it. Uh, it'll go on the freeway pretty good, 70, 75 miles an hour. When I first put it together, it rode a little bit rough. The rear end was a little bit too low on it, jacked up about another inch. Uh, once I got you know, a few things straightened out on it, now it'll, just, it'll go down the highway really nice. People look at it and think, you know, they'll say rat rod or this, that, and the other, but I, I tell them it's not a rat rod, you know, because it's just finished the way, it, you know, a nice, Roaster would have been fixed in the in the 40s. I'm proud of the car. I'm proud of how it turned out. I really like driving it. Uh, I don't think I'll ever sell it. It's just it's a part of me now, and uh, it's done real good on the road trips that I've been taking with it. And uh, Buckshot's been good to me, and I'll be good to her.